How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary mysteries that have left historians baffled. So strap yourself in, hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Our first video of the day is a classic ghost sighting that's been lurking in the foul depths of the internet for over 16 years. It was uploaded to YouTube by Dark Element TV. In June 2006, a family living near the old and infamous Dudley town in Connecticut had, on numerous occasions, spotted a strange shadowy figure skulking in the woods behind their home. For years, the area has been plagued with paranormal tales of witchcraft, murder and demonic rituals. The family were familiar with the legend, so they had their camera on the ready. Then, on June 17th, they spotted something moving in the woods. This is what they got on camera. First, we can hear panic in a man's voice as he rings someone on the phone. Hi, it's me again. I'm just calling, um, just to let you know. I've seen that thing again I'm in the backyard. I've got the camera on. Um, I'm trying to capture it. I don't know what it is, but... I'm going to see if I can get it anyway. Give me a call when you get this message. Bye. He then heads outside and this happens. No. What is that? No way. It can be hard to see at first, but if we brighten the image and slow it down, you can see a dark figure moving through the trees. No. What is that? Located just south of Cornwall Bridge in Connecticut, Dudley Town is an enigma that has intrigued parapsychologists, historians and curiosity seekers for years. Numerous bizarre events are attributed to Dudley Town, including ghost sightings, mysterious deaths, and a curse that's allegedly travelled across the sea from England with the Dudley family. Dudley Town was first settled by Thomas Griffiths in the 1740s, with Gideon Dudley arriving sometime around 1753. He purchased land from Griffiths, and more members of the Dudley family soon arrived, along with other families, to unofficially establish the town. According to legend, the curse of the Dudleys originated with an ancestor of the family. Edmund Dudley was beheaded in 1510 for plotting against King Henry VII. It's said that a curse was placed on the Dudley family at that time, with the curse stating that the descendants of the Dudleys would all experience nothing but horror, pain and death. The family then began experiencing a cruel run of bad luck that followed them to America. The curse seemed to be running strong in Dudley Town. Several individuals who lived in Dudley Town went insane, including one of the Dudley brothers. A woman reportedly hung herself in 1872, claiming to have had visions of demons before she died. Other events that occurred in Dudley Town include a man who fell to his death during a barn raising, a lightning strike that killed another Dudley Town woman, and the disappearance of two children who were playing in the woods. Eventually, Dudley Town became a ghost town. But around 1900, Dr. William Clark purchased the land and built a summer home. One weekend, while vacationing there with his wife, Dr. Clark was called away, leaving his wife there all alone. When he returned a couple of days later, he found that his wife had gone insane, babbling about frightening creatures that had come out of the woods to attack her. She sadly took her own life a short while later. Today the land is privately owned and local law enforcement keeps a close eye on the property. Still, some paranormal investigators have managed to gain access to the land, and reports have been made of many eerie happenings including strange shadows, the sound of disembodied voices, orbs, cold spots and other unusual things. In the 1970s, famed paranormal investigators the Warrens declared the forest surrounding Dudley Town to be demonically possessed. So is this footage a glimpse of what's really lurking in the woods near Dudley Town? Take another look and judge for yourself. No! What is that? No way. 
This brief clip, uploaded to Instagram by Paranoid Normal, drops us right in the action. Take a look. It's a little after 11 p.m. and what appears to be some pretty wild activity is happening inside this home. The handle to the door is aggressively flipping up and down. And drawers begin moving in their shelves. Eerily, there doesn't appear to be anyone on the other side of the door, as you can see there's no silhouette through the glass. A lot of commenters on this clip were concerned for the camera holder's safety and suggest he get out of there as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the clip is far too brief to know exactly what's going on here, and it's not known where or when it was filmed. So, unless more information surfaces, this bizarre little clip will have to remain a mystery. In mid-2019, Donald Brumley set up a trail cam in the wilderness of Redgate, Montana. The hunter was hoping to catch the movements of some wild animals but instead he caught a snap of something that no one can quite explain. The hunting camera he used was designed to take a series of photos in quick succession when it detects movement. Take a look at what this camera's caught. You can see a greyed out form. It looks humanoid in appearance with a big bulbous bald head. Looks like the figure isn't wearing any clothes either. In an interview with KXLF, Bromley said initially he thought it was just a person, but the more he stared at the image, the more he wasn't so sure. For years, Redgate has been known as a hotspot for paranormal events. UFO sightings are said to be an almost common occurrence, motorists often say their cars inexplicably cut out while driving in the area, and even a brutal murder took place on the mountain. In fact, Montana ranks in the top five of the most reported UFO sightings per capita in the United States. Bromley says that the figure he's caught on camera just seems off, and brings to mind the classic depiction of an alien grey, the big bulbous head and the lack of clothes. Some 200 miles to the east of Redgate is the site of one of the earliest known UFO sightings caught on camera. In 1950, in Great Falls, Montana, the so-called Mariana UFO incident took place. At 11.29 a.m., the general manager of the local minor league baseball team, Nick Mariana, was inspecting the Legion Stadium baseball field with his secretary, Virginia Rornig. The pair witnessed two silver-coloured rotating objects moving at speed overhead. Mariana estimates that the objects were moving at speeds between 200 and 400 miles per hour. He claims that they're around 50 feet wide and very bright to look at. Mariana ran to his car and began filming with his 16mm camera. The footage was featured in a rare documentary made in 1956 called UFO. Take a look at what he captured. In an interview later conducted by the US Air Force, Mariana describes what he saw. As I looked up, I saw two silvery objects moving swiftly out of the northwest. They appeared to be moving directly south. The objects were very bright and about 10,000 feet in the air. They appeared to be of a bright, shiny metal, like polished silver. Both were the same size and were traveling at the same rate of speed, which was much slower than the jets which shot by shortly after I filmed the discs. The footage was handed over to the US Air Force for further analysis. They determined that the objects were nothing more than fighter jets that were reportedly running a routine flyover. However, when the footage was returned, Mariana claims that the first 35 frames of the footage were missing. 
These were allegedly key parts of the film that showed the objects rotating and spinning with a band running the outer length of the craft. The Air Force denied tampering with the film. Some years later, in 1952, Mariana gave the footage to Air Force officer Edward J. Rappelt for a second opinion. Mariana had the Air Force sign an agreement that the footage wouldn't be tampered with in any way. After further analysis, Captain Rappelt concluded that the objects weren't birds, balloons or meteors. He also ruled out the Air Force's earlier conclusion that the objects were F-94 fighter jets. Captain Rappelt's final verdict on the film was that the objects remained unidentified. Mariana's film now resides in the US National Archives and continues to be a source of great speculation and intrigue, with no firm conclusions ever being reached. So what's going on in Montana? Why are so many mysterious things being spotted? For now, these questions remain unanswered, but it seems residents of Montana should keep their eyes open for more unexplained sightings. It's not known where or when this clip was filmed, but it's clear the camera holder has spotted something bizarre in the night sky. The video was uploaded to Instagram by Unanswered Universe. Take a look. Seem normal to anyone else? Oh shoot! As you can see, a pulsing orb of light is hovering in the sky. Oh shoot! Passing clouds obscure whatever it is. Oh shoot! Naturally, a lot of people said this is nothing more than a choice piece of CGI. However, a few people said that they too had seen something similar hovering in the skies near their homes not too long ago. Quite a few viewers suggested it could be an example of Project Bluebeam, a fringe conspiracy theory popularized by journalist Sergei Manast. In 1994, Manast published a paper that suggested that NASA and the United Nations were ringing in a new world order, with the Antichrist as its figurehead. Manast claims they'll usher in a false second coming of Christ using advanced holographic technology projected in the sky. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think? CGI, the second coming of Christ, or something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh shoot. Security guards working the night shift at a school in Argentina have encountered something that they can't quite explain. In August 2016, school number 179 near Vare del Pino was the site of some eerie activity. The footage, which was uploaded to YouTube by Diego Sebastian, begins with the two guards hearing things late at night, long after staff and students have gone home. They search the property looking for the source of the unknown sounds. When they enter one of the classrooms, this happens. Watching that again, a chair seems to move all by itself. The two guards run away in fear and the clip abruptly ends. Quite a few people in the comments section said that they used to attend this very school and that they had always heard rumours that something was off about it. Some said it was like something was always watching you, while others said they would always see shadowy figures out the corner of their eyes. One former student said there was a gap in one of the walls where the kids would say the Pomberito lived. The Pomberito, or Lord of the Night, is a cryptid rooted in South American folklore. Its legend stretches from southern Brazil through Paraguay and down into Argentina. This creature of the night is said to be small and grotesque looking with hairy hands and feet. 
Legend states that these creatures stalk wooded areas, waiting silently to capture young girls walking alone. So is the Pomerito lurking in this school in Argentina, or is it all just a bit of playground fun? If it is, then how do you explain the chair moving late at night all by itself? Before we take a look at some eerie security footage captured in a nursing home, remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Back in 2008, an aged care facility known as Norton Hall was home to a rather mysterious set of events. The nursing home, which operates in a historic building in Worcester, England, began to experience something strange. Staff and residents began to report the sound of a cat roaming the halls at night time. Meows and scratching could be heard at all hours of the night. Confused, the caretaker searched the property but could find no evidence of a cat at all. Yet, yeah, the sounds persisted. Eventually, the facility set up a camera in the main hallway to try and catch any sight of this alleged feline. This is the footage they captured. A transparent cat walks past the camera. The night this footage was captured, a resident by the name of Martha Mildred Jones, who was aged 99, passed away in her sleep. Jones used to run a cat shelter in her younger years and absolutely adored cats. Strangely, the caretaker said that there were no more reports of cat sounds at Norton Hall from that night onwards. Naturally, a lot of people in the comments found the story a little too convenient but the majority of viewers thought it was genuine and believed that the cat's spirit helped Jones to pass over. So is this ghost story put together just for a bit of fun, or are we witnessing some genuine paranormal activity? Let me know where you land on this in the comments section down below. Now, if you want to see some more unsolved mysteries, then check out these two links right there. Now, in the comments section below, let us know which one of these segments you thought was the weirdest or scariest. We'd love to get your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.